Awesome. All right, let me know when you're ready. Ready. All right, good morning, Mana Church. Sharisa here, and I am here with my amazing friend, Stephanie Waddell, who is the president, founder, and everything for <laughs> Freedom Life Compass, which is also the parent group of Freedom Life House, Freedom yeah. House, um, which is a huge part of uh, Mana and our Reach Out Celebration. So we want to take this chance to send up a prayer just so that God helps us recognize the people that are in need so that when he brings them into our lives, we recognize those needs and we're able to reach out to those needs, um, which is basically what Stephanie's whole life for the last few years has been about. It's just finding those people in need that have been, dare I say, overlooked by most of society because of either their past or where they're coming from or what they're coming out of. Yeah, and and Stephanie just has a, an amazing heart for that. Um, and I don't know if you want to just real quick what got you into yeah. that, where your heart comes from. Yeah, I grew up in a world of chaos and fell into addiction at a young age and ended up homeless. And I lived that lifestyle. I lived that life of kind of just being lost and hurting in our world our dark world that we live in and so now I like to be able to be that light that you know we talk about in Matthew five sixteen, letting our light shine so that others will see our father in heaven and so I get to do that now through Freedom Life Compass in the jails prisons and homeless shelters and also through Freedom House helping women coming out of any of those situations yeah and I I work with Stephanie so well because um my circumstances I was also homeless um, from the time that I was 13 years old to the time I was 17 years old uh, and I, I lived on the street and unfortunately there was no place like Freedom House for me to come to. Um, I think my life would have turned out very different um, during those times but because of what we went through it gives us a unique ability to minister to those people mm -hmm. because it's, it's one thing to have empathy for those people but it's another thing to actually understand Right. Exactly what they're walking through. Absolutely. And I think that gives us some definite tools that God has equipped us with. Right. And it gives us the ability to give them hope that they can pull through those situations yes. and know that there is purpose and passion on the end of that. Yeah. It's great to be able to say, you know, I once was where you're at yeah. and now I'm here and you can do the same thing yes. and we will help you and support you and guide you in those steps. You have to put in the work, but we're definitely here to give you the tools. So. Um, talking about Serve Week, talking about the rock offering that's coming up. So we're going to go ahead and cover the prayer point of serving those in need. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the prayer real quick. Um, so Father God, you have blessed us to be a blessing. Give us a heart to serve those in need around us and help us to display your grace and mercy to those who are looking for you and don't even know it. May we show others the love of Jesus, no strings attached. Yeah, and the scripture that goes with that, I mentioned earlier, Matthew 5, 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And that's what we get to do here at the Freedom House. We get to use our stories, our past, to help women see that they can do the next right thing and that God loves them and that he's transforming each and every one of us into his image. Definitely. So, man, thank you so much for sewing into Freedom House. Thank you so thank much you. for sewing into Freedom Life Compass and Stephanie and her vision and just giving her the support that we can and just, you know, continue to pray about how you're going to donate to Rock and how you're going to help out and uh, have a blessed day. Cool.